On the day Mick took his own life, it wasn't expected at all. Nobody expected him to him to do that. The, the shock of finding they'd chosen to do that. Just, just people use phrases like "it rocked my world." It, it but you, the, there are, there are just no words to de, to describe what what you know the impact of, of what he chose. Telling the children what had happened was the single hardest thing I've ever had to, to do and watch their, and watch their reactions. Uh, they, their world just crumbled um, because he, he was the centre of, of their world. He was their stepdad and he did everything for them. They absolutely adored him. Elizabeth constantly points to his photograph. She takes my phone with um, his photograph on and just say his daddy all all the time and it's it's so lovely that she knows who who he is and she recognizes him but at the same time it's it's heartbreaking that he's a photograph and not a real person and and she, she should be saying daddy to to him not the photograph so it's it is it's it's really hard um I guess it's just about being as open and honest with her and making him as real as we possibly can for, for her as she grows up. Obviously it was uh, a massive shock. Mick was just made up. He was so, so happy and he was so content with his personal life. Professional life, a little bit different. Uh, he'd, he'd had an injury some years ago whilst he was at work on, on his ankle, he had to have ankle reconstruction. And that had a knock-on effect on his knees. The condition of his knees deteriorated to the level where he was told he would never be a dog handler again, which knocked him for six. That's all he ever wanted to, to do, all he ever wanted to be. He didn't want to tell anyone just how much he was struggling. I think the stigma that police officers and emergency service workers have is that they put the uniform on and it's like a sheet of steel and nothing penetrates inside. Uh, they can go, they can deal with anything, any job, they can uh, take in any horrendous sights or you know experiences and that they can just wash them off at the end of the day. Uh, it doesn't work like that. We are humans, we're not robots. I knew that something good had to come out of something so bad and so tragic. We have put more things in place to assist officers, but we need the help of officers out there to identify changes in themselves or in their colleagues and to make sure that it's, it's reported, it's talked about. Um, so I asked Kelly if she was prepared to do something and, and to have a think about it. She said she didn't need to think about it, she would do whatever she could to get the story out to prevent someone else having to go through what her and her family were going through. Over the three or four months after Mick took his own life, Kelly has worked so hard um, within the media, talking to all different outlets and uh, social media campaigns, you know, to really get that story out and to, to really encourage people to find help uh, for themselves if they're struggling. And that all came together on the 7th of February when we had the Time to Talk day. Talking about it helped me to try and piece things together to make sense of something that I couldn't, I couldn't make sense of as well. I wanted to make sure that everybody knew who Mick was and, and do him justice and celebrate the amazing person that he, he was rather than how his life ended. That was really important. We've had three or four occasions that people have said you've saved my life or you've saved my partner's life. My partner was going to do the same. They heard the story, they read the articles in the press and they decided to, to talk. They decided to talk about what was going on inside. You just, I guess you just, you know, you plod on through life, you consider yourself just a normal family doing the normal things that everybody else does and then this hits your world and you think, gosh, it, well, it's just destroyed everything and, and, and scattered everything and we're trying to pick up pieces and put things back together and create a family the best way we best way we can. But if we can save 
other people from having to go through this, then yes, it's, it's definitely worthwhile all that we're doing.